some of the biggest names in show business. Mellow greetings and ookie dookie. Welcome to America's favorite TV show, What? I'm Chris Strouth, and for the next 30 minutes, I'll be your guru of the groovy as we travel down the psychedelic highways and byways with our special guest, prospective recording artist Big Red Ball, with their persuasive guitars, throbbing bass lines, and bionic backbeats, not to mention those snappy lyrics, they are most certainly a band to be reckoned with. And now, without any further ado, the sonic stylings that are Big Red Ball. You, you lucky TV viewer, you're watching what with special guests? Big Red Ball. Ooh, how I envy you.
It's a rehearsal. What happens at a rehearsal for Big Red Ball? Anybody can feel this one. I'm, I'm just going to open this one up. <laughs> I'll open this one up to the panel room. Um, we, we, we show up and uh, we get started about a half hour late, as usual, I'd imagine. And then um, we just usually, I pick songs and we play them. <laughs> That's about it. Today we're going to do sure. Kumbaya, <laughs> damn it. We usually pick songs that we know, <laughs> kind of. From what I heard, though, we do, our <clears throat> practices are kind of different than other people. Uh, obviously, being a band, being in a band or being a musician, you always have friends that are musicians or, or band members or whatever, and they always tell you, well, our practice is like this, or they always tell you something about their life. But what I what I found is that <clears throat> us playing together at practice, we tend to beat a song into the ground. <laughs> we want to learn it, you know, so we'll get there and we'll play it over and over and over, you know. We might play one song for, oh, I don't know, quite a while. Yeah, we're, so, we're not, not that it's bad. Yeah, we're not really patient, though. It's like we bring in a song and we want to play it, like, three days later at a show. So, yeah, we usually do do that. Just, yeah. like, just play it and then, like, think it's ready? Okay. Yeah. But it, that's not to say that's bad. I'm just stating a fact of how, how our practice is. Every, every band does things differently, you know. And... What's, uh, like, uh, what's your favorite 60s rock and roll movie? Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, <laughs> Audrey Hepburn was quite the rocker. <laughs> didn't you say, I thought you said, oh, I guess I didn't hear the question. I thought you said 60s film. No, 60s, 60s, film. 60s rock and roll. 60s car chase. Yeah, 60s well, rock and roll film. It's all rock and roll back then, you know, I mean, that. Elvis in Hawaii was always pretty good. <laughs> Elvis in Hawaii? Yeah, Blue Hawaii or something. Was that 60s? I saw that the other day on the cable, at, or one of the cable stations. I believe that would be Elvis, and he's a helicopter pilot in that movie. Right. Way. Audrey Hepburn did play guitar in that in that movie, actually. In Breakfast at Tiffany's? Yes, she did. I like the monkeys, the TV show, the monkeys. Mm. That was cool. I didn't like them. I thought they were kind of campy, but... Yeah, you like... The Partridge Family, right? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I like the Partridge Family better. I don't know why. Must because have been they all were the less campy. She liked Keith. <laughs> oh, right. Hey, Danny and uh, Danny were in a yeah. fight o o over you, in Chicago, yeah. I think, the other day. A benefit boxing match, and da up. Danny Bonaduce yeah. kicked Danny Osmond's ass, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she gave him a bloody nose. Definitely. Definitely. Hard Day's movies. Night, yeah. Hard Day's Night, yeah. I think you have to do like A, B, C, or D on these questions. Otherwise, yeah. we don't know. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, I'll stick to multiple choice for you. <laughs> I think that'd be better than essay.
uh, hipster daddy-o, uh, swing cats, hipsters. Uh, oh, uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Hello, I'm Congressman Bruce Vento from St. Paul, and you're watching St. Paul Community Television. Hi, I'm Paul Rademacher. And I'm Lori Ward. Catch St. Paul Scene every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30. Here on Cable Access Channel 35. You guys have a, uh, a new uh, single out, isn't it? Yep. A seven inch on Prospective Records? Yes, it was. It, it is. It still is. We've had two records out on Prospective. We have a third one coming out. It's not out yet. What's it called? Inside Your Room and One Day. And is it available at? At the present time? <laughs> Sort of. I can't, you, you want me to plug stores? Well, no, I just want you to say, it's available, go to your local record store, buy it, please, it's really good. But you don't have to say that because I just said it for you. <laughs> we could edit her head but, on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good, you'll like it. Well, as far as yeah. records go. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple of good songs. <laughs> yeah, two good songs. <laughs> 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 We've been writing songs since then that are, are good, you know, and it's, it's hard to look at it. <laughs> Wait, we've been writing songs since then that are good, <laughs> as opposed to those, so don't. <laughs> no, I'm not saying those are bad. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying once you've, once you've made a record and you've listened oh, yeah. to it over and over and over and over in the studio, you're so close to it, how can you possibly say if it's good or bad? You know, that's all. You can lie. <laughs> it's good. I, it's good, okay. <laughs> Wait, you can lie. Okay, it's good. <laughs> people like it, you know. People, it, it gets played on the radio. It's it, got good radio quality to it, actually. I think Radio K and KFAI and the old WMMR have done a lot for this band, actually, to, That's true. to give them any airplay at all. It's great. We made the top ten at WMMR a couple years ago with the last single that we had on Perspective. And that helped immensely as far as you know, getting around, playing better shows, and and there's a lot of people that, that had cable that were listening to WMMR then. Yeah, they had us on for interviews at KFAI and uh, right. Radio K also. Right. So they, they helped us out a lot. And then you guys, uh, you played uh, Best Band Nights at the uh, First Avenue? Yeah, you? January 1st. That was a good show. Yeah. I dug that. That yeah. was a good show. Better the interviewer, they're interviewing somebody than I am being in an interview. Oh, you, you should apply you. for a job. <laughs> See, but yeah, but then you know I, you know, would mess with the union. The music union? No, the TV guy show union. <laughs> hey, I don't man. watch TV. We're back to the TV. And you know, all roads lead Chris back to TV. In the TV. You're, aren't you an actor? Yeah, I, uh, I would direct uh, plays and write them. There but I go. like TV a lot. Darn it, and I guess that's why I'm on it right now, even <laughs> as we speak, huh? Yeah, he likes it. He can get right up there in that camera. Well, see, I'm the only one who's really allowed to do that. That's one of the nice things with having your own show, is you don't ever have to be in profile, you know, and you can, like, look directly into the camera and talk to the people at home. It's very exciting. Right, Augie? Yeah, it looks pretty uh, fun from where I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Temple throbbing? <laughs>
what, what's a band you would tell somebody to go see outside of yourself? Right now, I like Rex Daisy a lot. Puck. Rex Daisy, Puck, yeah. any, any others, anybody? This is your chance to plug your friends. We don't have any friends. <laughs> I don't even know those guys, but I think they rock. Puck are really hot. Puck has actually been on the show. Yeah, that's, I heard that. They did their second show here. Yeah, wish I would have seen it. So those are, those are some, I'm sure there's, there's others, but you know, it's a time constraint really to be able to think of all <clears throat> the other ones. Somebody, a friend of yours is going to go, you know, I saw you on that TV show. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not mentioning frog juice, man. Okay, Augie, here for you. I got a multiple choice question. Lay it on me. Okay, man. <laughs> you had your choice, and, uh, and you're going to get to play, uh, play uh, dueling banjos on guitar. And uh, with it, you could either play with uh, the guy from Super Chunk, whatever his name is, uh, Audrey Hepburn, or, uh, or uh, Sigmund from Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. Who would it be? <laughs> I'd have to go with Sigmund. Oh, right oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good decision. I, I, think yeah. that, I think that's a winner. I wish we could arrange it for you because that would be damn exciting. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us for tonight's ultra gigantic episode of What? A big debt of thanks to Big Red Ball for letting us be a part of their universe. And an extra special, gigantic, enormous thanks to you fine folks down at Total Music Systems. You guys are the ginchiest. Tune in next week when we have a really extra faboo show with special guest, Things That Fall Down. See you next time on What? Thank you.